but he decides to throw a rock instead of a water balloon and somebody loses an eye. Right. say, well, they were all fooling around. It's not my son's fault. You know, he decided to throw a rock instead of a water balloon. They were throwing something. Your son caused this young man's injury. How were you injured, sir? I was struck in the back of the head by a silly string can. And? It hit behind my right ear, and my mother was told that I would need... Don't tell me what your mother was told. Did you have a medical report for me? No. We do. Oh, teenagers, teenagers. I'm so glad I don't have any anymore. And that my children's teenagers are their problems. Do you have any stitches? No. You had staples. 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 Did it hurt? Yes. Mr. Markell, what were your unreimbursed medical bills, sir? The total was $786.11. Mr. Smith, that's your responsibility. I take it out of his whatever. May I ask a question, yes. please? According to the police report, it's saying that the can that struck the back of his head, no one saw where that came from. They didn't speak to the right person. What do you mean? They didn't speak to the right person. I just spoke to somebody who saw it. Okay. Just like I just heard this young man lie to his father. Was his witness in the police report? I have his... no idea. You speak to the police? I believe yeah. it was. And did you tell them that you didn't see you through the can? I didn't tell them that. I said I saw Ryan throw the can. I didn't bring the police report with me. I have it in the other room. Well, I'd like to see it. You want me to go get it? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Markell, do you have the police report there? I do. Oh, well, you should have told me. I apologize. Can we get the defendant's mother back here, please? Bert, can I take a look at that, sure. please? What's your last name? Uh, Prati. You want to show me where it says that? Yeah. I just see two other boys. Goring and McMillan said they were hanging out and a confetti war started. They said that during the confetti war, Smith, that was you, threw an empty can of confetti towards Markell and his friends. They say the empty can hit Markell in the forehead. Yeah. I wasn't just exactly sure if it said that he saw it or not. Yeah, he said he saw Smith throw something at something, them. Yeah. And he hit Markell in the back of his head. It's exactly what it says here. I so, what are you telling me? I couldn't me? remember who said what. Well, now you know. Okay. Not only he said it, but thank you for pointing out that two other people said it. Okay. Not just him. Two other people both said they saw him throw the can. So you're responsible for his medical bills because he's responsible for the medical bills. Aside from the fact that you're a liar, $786.11, judgment for the plaintiff, that's all. Parties are excused, you may step out. Coming here was uh, quite a good experience and we're happy with the decision. I don't really think my son is the one that threw the can that hit him in the back of the head. Our son was struck in the head and bleeding profusely. It was a group of kids. So he was one of several. I hopped in my car and drove to the hospital right away. They were throwing things at one another, and one of them got hurt. I was not throwing things, but I was, I admit, popping the party poppers. Uh, I just felt like throwing a can. I was walking away. I thought everything was fine, but then I felt something warm running down my head, and when I put the hand, my hand to the back of my head, it came slick away with blood. I'm sorry that the other boy got hurt. He popped a can at me and walked away. Didn't see him again until he came back bleeding. Kids need to mellow out, <laughs> definitely. Students need to be a little bit kinder to each other in general. And now the next case. All parties in the matter of Benz versus Kellerman step forward. William Benz is suing his step-granddaughter's boyfriend, Timothy Kellerman, for using his bank account to cash a fraudulent check. Mr. Benz.